Hey everybody, so in this video, I just wanted to talk about the options fanbot and how you can add it to a Discord server. So uh, many of you guys, you know, you might already be in a Discord server, but it is nice to just make your own little server where you're just in it, where you could keep all sorts of information and you can add all sorts of bots. So um, the reason why I wanted to talk about options fanbot is because uh, very recently, they actually made a lot of updates. So here we can see in August 2nd, you know, they made a version 1.0. Then, you know, they have another version out the very next day. And then the very next day after that, you know, they put out another version. So um, there's a lot going on here. And I just wanted to talk about some of the features. So uh, let's just scroll down. If we scroll down, we can go ahead. We can add options BB bot. So we're going to click that. Uh, and then from here, we're just going to add our server. So I want to do test one right here. And then we're going to do continue. We're going to give them all of these authorizations. Authorize. I am a human. And then from here, let me just go ahead, pull up the Discord. So uh, now we see Options Fanbot is here. So hello, Options Fanbot. So from here, I can do all sorts of commands. So I just want to show you guys uh, some of these commands here. So let's start with this one. Let's do slash econ and currencies. There we go. Let's press enter. So yeah, as you guys can see, it's showing us um, the fluctuations in all of these different currencies. So here we can see US dollar index 106.58. It's up pretty big from uh, the last time when this market was open. And uh, let's do another one. Let's do slash econ. Let's look up GL bonds. So here we could see all of these bonds. We can even um, filter it out for just US bonds. So we could do slash econ. And now let's see uh, US bonds right here. So here we can see the 30, the 10, the 7, 5, 3, 2, 1 notes. And we could also do, um, I think this one's pretty cool, but it's not always as up to date. So let me go ahead and show you what this one does. Slash econ. And then we're going to type in Fed. So Fed rates. So here it tells us the um, actual next meeting date. So here it says uh, September 21st, 2022 at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. It's giving us the uh, percentage chance. So this is where, um, you know, it's not exactly as up to date. So sometimes when we get these big economic drops like um, the non-farm payrolls, these um, percentage chance will change. So uh, right now we're actually a little bit more skewed towards having a higher rate hike. So this actually isn't 52%. It's something like, um, I believe it's like 70% right now. But I did make a video on where you could find these rates that are very up to date. So uh, do go ahead and check that out. So um, I do believe that this one is very, very useful in just at least knowing when this meeting date is. So September 21st, you know, we'll always know when these next um, Fed rate hikes are going to be if we just look at this data right here. So there is some more um, data that we can take advantage of. So I'm going to go ahead, look at the documentation real quick. So give me one second. So we could look at um, things like government contracts. So let's do um, slash gov, gov, and then contracts. Now we're going to type in a ticker. So let's do, uh, let's do Palantir, P-L-T-R. Press enter. Okay, so now we can see all of these contracts with Palantir. So here we have Department of Defense. Uh, let's see, uh, Department of Health and Human Services. So let's just go ahead and look at this option a little bit more. So slash gov, contracts. Uh, let's think of another company. Mm, let's see, how about FedEx? 
I think it's FDX. All right, so yeah, Department of State, uh, Department of Agriculture, Department of Veterans. So they have all of these different contracts right here. So I do believe that this is pretty interesting. Now I'll show you a funny one. So I like this one. So slash gov house. And let's see, we're gonna type in a ticker. Let's do NVDA. So here we go, the world's best insider trader, Nancy Pelosi. <laughs> she sold uh, this, amount, this amount in um, NVIDIA. And then we can see all these other people. So you can see right here, she purchased this much, she sold this much. So she essentially swung NVIDIA um, and it doesn't really show what the actual purchase price was, but it does show the um, amount that she did buy. So she bought quite a bit. So yeah, she basically swung it for a month. And then um, here we can see all of these other dudes. I don't know who these guys are, but um, essentially they're swinging a lot. So they're selling, they're buying, they're doing all of this stuff. And we could do the same thing for um, the Senate. So um, let's just do slash Senate. Oh, slash gov, Senate, and uh, yeah, let's just do the same one, NVIDIA, NVDA. So here we can see all of this as well, purchases, sales. So it's basically telling us the um, purchases and sales that are being made of um, people in the House and the Senate. Now, uh, let's see, there is another cool one that I do believe. Ah, so we're going to do slash ETFs or ETF. And then we could do slash ETF top or we could do slash ETF holdings. So I'm going to start with this one, ETF holdings. So uh, let's just do QQQ. All right, so this is telling me the top holdings in QQQ. So here we can see Apple is 13.17%. It uh, shows me how many shares are being held as well. So now let's just do another one, so slash ETF. Let's do Vanguard Total VT. All right. So here we can see um, Apple 3.31%, Microsoft 3.04%. Uh, let's just do another one for fun, ETF. Let's do VYM. All right, so here we can see Johnson & Johnson, XOM, Procter & Gamble. So um, yeah, pretty interesting stuff. Now let's go over to the next ETF function. So ETF tops. Uh, let's see, top gainers. How about that? So here we can see the top movers as of lately. So we can see LABU. Uh, this one moves quite a bit, 15.06% um, to the upside. And then Pro Shares Ultra Oil and Gas. This one went up quite a bit. Go to next page. Yeah, pretty interesting stuff. So let's just do that again, ETF. Um, let's just do tops top decliners as well. Let's take a look at that. So Lab D, top decliner. IMBXF, mortgage-backed securities. Hmm. Okay, so very interesting stuff. And um, there's a lot more functions than just the ones that I'm showing. So I'll go ahead and leave you guys the link down below in the descriptions. And then you can see the documentation so that you can mess with this yourself. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and have a great one.